Have our need to create a running or cumulative total? This type of calculation is a common request for Excel. Running totals are used to show year-to-date or month-to-date sales, calculate zero budgets, or compute your bank balance after each withdrawal and deposit. In the past, you used to have to create a sum function that combined relative and absolute cell referencing. Now you can quickly create a running total using the Quick Analysis tool. The file I'm working with is tracking my sales for the current year. I like to see a cumulative total as the last column. First, I'm going to select the values in the total column. Since there are so many rows, I'm going to avoid scrolling through pages of rows by using a shortcut. I'm selecting the first value of the last column, holding down my shift key, then pressing control plus the end key. This will select everything in that column. At the bottom of the data, a smart tab appears. This is called the Quick Analysis tool. It allows you to analyze a selected range of cells by using different tools. Once I click on it, I actually get several tabs of categories to choose from. Since I want a total, I'm going to choose the Totals tab. Right now, I can see different totals that can appear at the bottom of the selected range. I want a running total column, so I'm going to scroll to the right and view more options. The very last option is the running column. I'll pick that. I've just created a cumulative or running total. Quick and easy. This is Gina, and this is this month's tip.